When you hear the word farm, most people envision this, chickens, cows, and pigs. But lawmakers want you to reimagine this, beautiful, endless views of farmland seen here on Lima Family Farms in Hillsboro. We want to give these owners flexibility. We don't want to open the door. This is not about catering every day of the week. Many times these spaces or structures like this barn remain unused or vacant. That's why Assemblyman Roy Fryman and Senator Paul Sarlo are sponsoring a bill to allow farms located on preserved farmland to host special occasion events like weddings and concerts that they say would provide increased income stability. About a limited amount of events, give them a limited amount of events, um, a limited amount of space that they could use, make sure they do all the proper notifications to the town of where they're going to park the folks, the hours of operation, the noise, the ordinances, um, the portable bathroom facilities, to make sure they're doing it right, to make sure it's getting done right. But nobody is standing in their way and throwing up red tape. And given the rise in fuel prices, supply chain issues, and inflation, owner of Lima Family Farms, John Lima, says he's on board. Lima gave us a tour of the vacant barn that he plans to use for a special event. He says once he clears and empties it, the possibilities are endless. You could put all kinds of nice chairs in here. You can have a nice lounge area, a meeting area for people to come and relax. Lima says the barn that can hold about 300 people can easily be transformed into an event space that he says can bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. I think, you could do, I think we could do a half million dollars a year. I mean, if I was to put a, uh, a small breakfast or luncheon venue here is open all the time, that may be enough for somebody to cover their debt service on their mortgage. Tony Connett, co-owner of Martinet Farms, located less than a mile away, says to count him in too. Connett says he would convert the vacant space on his farm into an area for poetry and music. There are a lot of risks, seasonal risks that don't happen every year. Sometimes they seem like they're happening more often, but by having another outlet to opportunity to make money would really be helpful for all the farmers. We've done a very very strong job in preserving the farms. There are 9,900 farms in the state of New Jersey. We have about 2,700 right now preserved. That is an amazing deal for the people that live in New Jersey because never can this be developed. But not everyone is in favor of the bill. Amy Hansen is policy manager at New Jersey Conservation Foundation, a nonprofit organization that helps to preserve farmland across Jersey. Hansen says the bill undermines the program's purpose of protecting land from non-agricultural uses. Against the New Jersey Conservation Foundation has preserved thousands of acres of farmland across the state for decades. And we help create this program, which is paid for by taxpayers. And um, we're, we're worried that this actually gives back uh, uh, commercial rights to, to the landowners that were not originally, that was not originally the intention of the program. Meantime, Senator Sarlo says a conditional veto is currently being worked on to change some of the language that might sway Hansen. Sarlo says he's confident that the final changes will be approved and that the bill will pass in September. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.